अनुष्ठित पुंसाशक्सेन कथा सुजत नोत्पादयत जदी रति समय वह के धर्म जनरली ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू इंग्लिश एज रिलीजन आई हेव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सेवल टाइम दी dictionary meaning of religion is <clears throat> a kind of faith but actually uh, dharma means occupational duty uh, or the characteristic uh, just like <clears throat> a snake the snake eats a religion is to bite and petal bite that it is dharma occupational duty uh, <clears throat> everything has got just like this microphone it must work it must expand the sound that it is dharma If, if it does not expand the sound, it is useless. Uh, <coughs> so everything you take, there are characteristics. That is the meaning of dharma. Dharma is not an artificial faith. Faith you can change, but your occupational duty you cannot change. so what is the occupational duty of the living entity the living entity is now encased in two kinds of gross and subtle body therefore when he is situated in the bodily concept of life his dharma is fruitive activities or sense gratification 
when he is situated on the mental platform, then his occupational duty becomes speculation, imagination. And when he is situated in his original spiritual platform, then his occupational duty is to serve Krishna. These are the three positions. Karma, jnana, yoga, bhakti. Gradual evolution. Because spiritual knowledge also gradually evolved. Nidvises Brahma, Antajyami Paramatma, and Sarishadya Purna Bhagava. These are the different stages of self-realization or spiritual advancement. <coughs> Karma, Gyan, Yoga, and Bhakti. Yoga means Bhakti Yoga or the preliminary, primary stage of Bhakti Yoga. That from the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Yogi nāma pi sarvesāṁ madgata antarātmanā sadhyāvān bhajati jūmāṁ sami jukta tamāvat. There are different types of yogis. But the first-class yogi is he who na madgata antarātmanā, Krishna says, who is thinking of me always, madgata, sadhyāma, with uh, uh, veneration, love and faith, bhajati. Though to think of Krishna is also bhajan. There are different processes of bhajan. To hear of Krishna, there is also bhajan, just like you are hearing. And to speak about Krishna, I am speaking. You are hearing. Uh, similarly, when the speaking and hearing is finished, then you think of Krishna, or by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, you think of Krishna. Krishna being absolute, all these different processes are also the same, one and the same. There is no difference between chanting and hearing or remembering or worshipping in the temple. Sabanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam padasivanam archanam. The temple worship is called archan. Bandanam, offering prayers. The Christians, the Mohammedans, they offer prayer. Of course, uh, <coughs> not to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but impersonal feature or some idea. But that prayer is also one of the processes of bhakti. Uh, anyone who accepts the supremacy of God, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, he his process of worship has to be considered in the category of bhakti yoga. <clears throat> the more and more you become purified by executing the bhakti yoga process, then you come to the real platform that is stated here that dharma sanasthita punsha. It doesn't matter what kind of dharma. Actually, dharma is one, the occupational duty, the characteristic. The characteristic means that God is great and we are subordinate. That is the injunction of the Vedas. 
नित्य नित्याला चेतना चेतना नाम एक जो बहुनाम विदधाति का वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सिंगुलर नाम गॉड इज सिंगुलर नित्य इटर्नल चेतना लिविंग एंटिटी ही इज ऑल्सो नित्य एंड लिविंग एंटिटी बट द चीफ नित्य नित्याना चेतना चेतना ना एंड वी आर पुलर नंबर नित्या नाम चेतना नाम सो दी आर पुलर नंबर लिविंग एंटिटीज बट ही सिंगुलर नंबर वाई वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू नित्यज एंड टू चेतना गॉड इज नॉट डेड स्टोन God is like you and me. Uh, he is a living entity, but the chief living entity, similar number. Just like we have got leader, there are many hundreds and thousands of followers, but there must be one leader. You follow any cult, you have to accept one leader. Uh, either you follow. this philosophy that philosophy it doesn't matter but you have to follow a leader but krishna is the supreme leader leader of the leaders that is stated in the bhagavad gita matta parataram nanyat kinchi sakti dhananjaya ah leaders there are gods at there are god means controller there is controller always so there are many gods any one is god because he is somewhere other is a controller leader of but we are meaning the supreme leader the supreme controller that is krishna leader you have to accept but controller you have to accept but nobody is supreme leader or supreme controller that is krishna uh, every leader is also controlled by some other leader uh, but <clears throat> krishna is such a leader that he is not controlled by any other leader that is krishna therefore krishna says matta parataram nanya there is no other सुप्रियली ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादि रादि गोविंद सर्व कारण कारणम दैट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द वैदिक लिटरेचर द सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर द सुप्रीम लीडर इज कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह कृष्ण इज नॉट फॉर्मलेस when krishna was present on this planet he is not formless he has his form and what is that form satchit anand vigraha anandamaya rasa vigraha ananda chinmaya rasa ah that is not this vigraha that we have to understand Our vigra, our form, at the present moment, material form, uh, that is not satchidananda. Sat means eternal. Chit means full of knowledge, and ananda means full of blissfulness. So, uh, as soon as we think of one body. we think uh, comparing our world so similarly by our foolishness if we think of krishna's body like one of us then we become murha abhajananti mang murha banusin tanwas because krishna comes in the human form like a human being uh, <coughs> therefore we should not take krishna uh, as one of us then we become murha 
rascal, fool. Uh, or in other words, one who thinks of Krishna having a body like us, that is Mayabad philosophy. He is a mura. Namang duskitana mura prapadante naradhama. These are the statements of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, how you can uh, misinterpret? This is plain thing that symptom. Namang duskitana mura prapadante naradhama. These are the words used in the Bhagavad Gita. It is not our manufactured word. People may be very uh, unhappy or angry. But we have to quote from these uh, scriptures. These are the, anyone who does not surrender to Krishna, he is within these categories. What are they? First of all, duskritina. Duskritina means simply engaged in sinful activities. Kriti. Kriti means meritorious. But duskriti, badly meritorious. They are using their brain for something uh, atrocious, simply planning how to do harm to others. That is called duskriti. Uh, for his own sense satisfaction, he is planning. This is called osura. Asuri bhavamasit. Osuras, they are simply planning for his own sense gratification. And <coughs> devotees, they are simply planning how to satisfy Krishna's senses. That is the difference. Uh, how Krishna will be satisfied. Both of them are planning. But one is planning for his own satisfa- sense satisfaction. And the other is planning how to satisfy the senses of Krishna. Oh. This is the difference between Asura and Deva. There are two classes of men, Deva and Asura. Though Bhutasargo Loki, Deva Asura, Evacha. Asura stas vipadja. Vishnu uh, Bhakta Bhavet Daiva Asurastad Viparja. Those who are devotees of the Lord, servants of the Lord, they are called Deva or Devi gods. Asurastad Viparja and the Asuras are just opposite. Just like Hiranagashi. Prahlad. Prahlad, the father and son. Prahlad is Deva because he is devotee of Krishna and Hiranyagashipu because Prahlad is devotee of Krishna. He is trying to always tease him, although he is a five years old boy, his son, very beloved son. But since he became Krishna conscious, he became the enemy of the Osura. This process is existing from very, very time immemorial, two classes. Uh, Therefore, to become devotee is sometimes very troublesome because even the father becomes enemy. This is the position of the devotee. But still you have to become a devotee. That is your success of life. Ah. But the warning is there that as soon as you become a devotee, you become enemies of so many, especially nowadays. Ah. You know that recently I was refused entrance in Africa. The government did not allow me to enter. What is my fault? Because I have a devote. This is my fault. Ah. So we are meeting so many dangerous positions. In Bombay, our temple construction 
has been refused by the commissioner of police. Why? Because we chant Hare Krishna. They have openly written that the bhajan nuisance, you see, this is our position. Ah. Bhajan, the Krishna says, Bhagavan says, that chaturvida bhajante ma, this bhajan word is there. Ah. Four kinds of people can be engaged into bhajan. Who are they? Sukriti Narjana, whose background is very, very pious activities. <clears throat> now, at present, bhajan is nuisance. Bhajan is stated in the Vedic scripture that it is performed by the pious men. And now, at the present circumstance, bhajan is nuisance. Satatam kīrtayam tangmāṁ jatantasya dhurabhrata. These are the statements of Vedic scripture. Uh, who is Mahātmā? Uh, Mahātmā nasta māṁ prārtha daivi prakriti māsa. Uh, Satatam kīrtayam tangmāṁ jatantasya dhurabhrata. These are Mahātmās. <coughs> Nitya yuktu pāsate. But at the present moment, not at the present moment, from time immemorial, uh, this is going on. As soon as you become devotee, as, is, as soon as you are inclined to take part in bhajan, you will have so many enemies. Uh, therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended that uh, you tolerate Still, you cannot give up your bhajan and Krishna consciousness. That is not possible. Tolerate. Tinadupi, what is the process of toleration? Yes. Tinadupi suni chena, taroropi sai suna, amani na manadena, kirtaniya sada. So, this Krishna consciousness movement we are teaching to become. Uh, Sukriti no, uh, to make his life successful by understanding Krishna. Uh, that is this verse explains. Dharma sāna sita paṁsāṁ viśyākṣena katha sudha. Please take child. Uh, so uh, uh, this formula is that you may execute your occupational duties first class, uh, as it is prescribed, uh, very nicely, regularly, faithfully, you are discharging your occupational duty. But if it does not awaken your dormant, Krishna consciousness, then it is useless. Sramaya vahi kevala. Because the human life is meant for awakening Krishna consciousness. Our consciousness is now polluted. Just like the rainwater, as soon as it falls down on the ground, it becomes muddy. Otherwise, the rain water is distilled water, very nice, clear, crystal water. But as soon as it touches the ground, it becomes uh, uh, dirty immediately. Similarly, originally we are all Krishna conscious because you are part and parcel of Krishna. Mamai Vāṅsa Jīva Bhūta. Krishna says, all these living entities, they are my part and parcel. Just like the son is the part and parcel of the father for crude understanding. So we are also similarly part and parcel of Krishna. Mamai Vāṅsa Jīva Bhūta, Jīva Loka Sanādhana. 
मन सस्ताण इंद्रिया प्रकृति स्थानी कर सकती एज सुन एज इट कम्स इन टच विथ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ड इट इट इज कॉन्टेमिनेटेड द सेम एग्जाम्पल दस रेन वाटर कॉलिंग फ्रॉम द स्काय इज क्रिस्टल क्लियर डिस्टिल वाटर बट एज सुन एज इज कम इन टच विद द ग्राउंड इट बिकम्स मडी डाटी so at the present moment our krishna kan our consciousness is dirty ah uh, abhadra it is stated in bhagavat in one place uh, sinnatang sagata krishna punna savana kirtana riddantasta abhadrani abhadrani the dirty things within the uh, heart riddantast within the heart we have got so many dirty things within the heart now how it has grown due to our contact with this material nature this is our disease uh, in another place in the bhagavad gita it is said karanam guna sanga asha sadasad janma juni su sad asad ah uh, uh, means Uh, nice body or uh, very abominable body uh, you may get a very nice body learned scholar beautiful uh, very aristocratic or you may take the body of the uh, worm of a stool you have to change your body and there are 8 million and 400000 different forms of body so why one has taken the body of the worm of stool and why why one has taken the body of lord brahma or indra chandra varuna or rich man very nice man beautiful man why why these differences of body because the karanam guna sangasa as you are associating with the uh, modes of material nature satagan rajagan tamag uh, there are three gunas uh, satagan if you associate with satagan then urdhanga chanti satastva if you remain in satagan satagan means brahmanical qualification सत्ता सम दम तिथिखा आर्जव ज्ञान विज्ञान आस्तिक ब्रह्म कर्म स्वभाव इफ यू रिमेन ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ब्राह्मणिकल क्वालिफिकेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड सतगोण एंड लेस दैन दैट शूद तीज बलंग युद्धि च पलायन क्षत्रिय क्वालिफिकेशन दैट इज मोर्स ऑफ पैशन एंड अदर्स remaining there is the more sub ignorance uh, do not know what is the value of life what is next life what is spiritual realization why you are suffering nothing no knowledge that is tamam so urdhanga chanti satastha madhe tishtanti rajasa jaghanna guna vrittistha adhoga chanti tamasa this is our position therefore there is dharma in the civilized human society there is dharma uh, either you take it as characteristic or a faith but a civilized nation has a kind of dharma as a christian dharma or hindu dharma or mahavidan dharma anyone uh, dharma means some relationship with god that is dharma dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranit that is another definition of dharma dharma means to abide by the laws of god so everyone is trying to abide by the laws mamo vartman vartanti manushya sarva partho sarvasu partho that is also stated in the book everyone is trying to approach here the ultimate uh, 
injunction is that dharma sanasita pungsha vishakshina kathasu vishakshina is another name of Krishna. So by executing the process of dharma, if one does not come to the point of understanding Vishakshen or Krishna, then what is that? Nutpadayat roti judi. Roti means attachment. Attachment. If one is not inclined to hear about Krishna after executing his dharma, occupational duty, whatever he may be, actually occupational duty is meant according to uh, Vedic civilization, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Sudra. Brahman has got his occupational duty, Chhatri has got his occupational duty, Vaishya has got his occupational duty, and Sudra also occupational duty. So uh, when it is described, dharma sanusthitasya, sa means own. So one must be either a Brahman or a Khatriya or a Vaishya or a Sudra. Uh, or nowadays one may be a medical man, an engineer, or a businessman, or this or that, everyone has got some occupational duty. Either you take this way or that way. But it is very systematic. When we think of, in terms of Vedic civilization, the Brahmana, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, this is very scientific. Uh, because a class of men, very intelligent, uh, very pure, ideal class of men, Brahmana, must be there. That is Vedic civilization. People will see and learn. Because ultimately human life is meant for elevating to the standard of spiritual consciousness. Athato Brahma Jignasa. So unless in the society there is an ideal class of men, Brahmana, how people will learn it. That is necessary. You cannot say, let us all become technology sudras. That you can get money for purchasing wine and meat. But the ideal life is lost. Ideal life is lost. There must be. Just like if you want to keep your body ah, fit for everything, there must be brain. Ah, if you say that there is no need of brain, we simply want legs. How, what is this body? The dead body. Ah, there must be the head, there must be the hand, there must be the belly, and there must be the legs. The Brahmana is the head of the society, brain of the society. And the uh, chatriyas are the arms of the body. And the bhushas, the belly of the body. The stomach and the belly must be kept in order. If you do not eat, if you do not digest your food, the brain will not also work, head will not also work. So for a proper upkeep of the human society, there must be the brahminical, brahminical class, brahmana class, the khatriya class. They are all equal because they are... My hand is as much important as my, my brain. But although comparatively, my brain is more important than my hand. That is comparative. But you require the brain. So at the present moment, why the society is chaotic condition? Because there is no Brahman. That is the defect. So society must be divided. In the material stage of this Brahmana, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. And gradually, everyone should be educated to become Brahman. Athata Brahma Jigyasa, Brahma Bhuta. Then he will understand what is bhakti. 
ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्न आत्मा न सोचती न कांखती समस्त सर्वेशु भूतेशु मद भक्ति लबते पर एंड व्हेन यू अटेन टू द स्टेज ऑफ भक्ति देन योर लाइफ इज सक्सेसफुल दिस इज द प्रोसेस हां देयरफॉर इट इज सेड दैट यू मे गो ऑन विथ योर सो कॉल ऑक्युपेशनल ड्यूटीज बट इफ यू डू नॉट कम टू द प्लेटफार्म ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग then it is sarvai vahi kevalam it is simply waste of time it is simply waste of time uh, because you do not catch up the ideal of your mission uh, simply work like the uh, animals and die dharma uh, sangya uh, 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 Bodily concept, just shato buddhi, kuna pe iti dhatu. Simply thinking that I am this body, and my only business is to satisfy the senses of the body. Not only my body, but my son's body, my grandson's body, my relative's body. This is going on under different name: socialism, and this is in that is in expanded bodily concept of life. This is animal civilization. जशात बुद्धि कुनापेति धात के बिकॉज़ द एनिमल आल्सो डूइंग दैट ए कैट इज थिंकिंग दैट आई एम दिस बॉडी आई मस्ट सिक्योर माय फूड एनीवेयर ए माउस एनीवेयर द डॉग इज आल्सो थिंकिंग लाइक दैट इफ ह्यूमन बीइंग आल्सो थिंक लाइक दैट देन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कैट्स एंड डॉग ओ ही मे बी वेरी मच प्राउड दैट आई एम डिस्चार्जिंग माय ड्यूटीज वेरी फेथफुली But here Bhagavat says, "Dharma sanu sthita pungsa vishakshini na kathasu." No utpada is this. If you do not develop your Krishna consciousness, you are simply wasting your time. Ah, uh, this is the part. Dharma sanu sthita pungsa vishakshini na kathasu. Ja, no utpada is the thing. Jadi samayi bhai ke bol. So our Krishna consciousness moment is. Uh, Simply uh, trying to uh, educate people that don't waste your time. You have got this human form of life. Uh, uh, luckily, after many many births, bhunam sam bhunam samavanti. After many many very well you said that don't waste your time. Uh, just try to. Awaken your dormant Krishna consciousness. The Krishna consciousness is there within you. Simply, you have to awaken. And what is the process? That awakening will take place uh, simply by chanting and hearing. Subhadi Shuddha Chitte Karoi Uda. There is a verse in the Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Nitta Siddha Krishna Bhakti Sadha Kavu Na. Krishna Bhakti. your devotion for krishna your attachment for krishna is there because you are part and parcel of krishna uh, just like a small child uh, problems will be solved this way no that will not be solved samay hi bajao simply wasting time by uh, laboring for nothing uh, you take to krishna consciousness Take to the instruction of Krishna, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. The your economic problem, social problem, political problem, all human society will be solved. Uh, it is practical. So if you take it seriously, uh, that is our propaganda. We are requesting not only the Hindus or Indians, but we are requesting everyone all over the world. Take to this Krishna consciousness moment and try to understand. We are therefore publishing so many books. Ah, uh, I we are very fortunate. We are, I am very glad to inform you that we are selling our books very nicely outside India, all over the world. We are selling our books, not less than forty to fifty thousand rupees daily. Ah, uh, so our books are being well received because. In the Western world, outside India, they never heard of this idea that God can be approached personally 
Uh, we can talk with him, we can live with him, we can play with him. Uh, uh, these new ideas, of course, uh, novel to the Western world, therefore they are taking very uh, careful attention. So why not India? Uh, do not waste your time this way, that way. And the process is very simple. Process is very simple. We are recommending the followers of Krishna consciousness. Uh, just now I received one letter from Jaipur. They wanted my guidance. The guidance is not very difficult. It is very simple thing. First of all, try to become sinless. No illicit sex life, no intoxication, no meat eating, no gam. Observe these four regulative principles and chant Hare Krishna mantra as far as possible, at least sixteen down. Then see how your life changes. Thank you.